Hello, this video will be both an unboxing and review of an iPhone accessory by HeartMath and it uses a software called Interbalance. It's, based, it's a heart monitor. It works with any version of the iPhone. Granted, you see this connector is the 30-pin style connector. Um, it does show <clears throat> on the back of the box that it supports <coughs> um, the, all the iPhones, iPads, and the uh, iPhone 5. And if you will be using it with an iPhone 5, you will need one of these two adapters. This is a 30-pin to lightning adapter. And here's another style of 30-pin to lightning adapter. These are the actual Apple branded versions, which are overpriced to the point of extortion. I mean, this cable costs 40 bucks. This one costs 30. I mean, really, where do they get off charging so much money? But they, they kind of got you between a rock and a hard place if you're an early adapter and you need to connect to your charging cable or accessories or whatnot. <clears throat> anyway, I will uh, be demonstrating this on my iPhone, connecting it to my iPhone 4, and then I will do, I may do a secondary video showing you actually it running on my iPhone 5, which is what I'm using to video now. <clears throat> anyway, be sure. by the way, be sure to like and subscribe uh, my videos. I have a lot more iPhone videos that I've done in the past and more that will be upcoming very soon, including jailbreaking iOS 6. Anyway, let's get on to the unboxing here. This is the way it came. It wasn't actually sealed with stickers on the side. It's already open like that. And here we have the sensor. And the way it shows. <clears throat> and this looks like um, a pouch. And here, download. Uh, this is telling you to download the software, Interbalance from iTunes Store. Attach the ear sensor plug to the iOS connector. Attach iOS connector to your phone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Attach the ear sensor to your ear lobe. So these are the instructions that this gives you to operate it. Uh, this is my first time opening this, of course. Um, I'm going to download the app from the iTunes Store and run it through its paces and then cut back in with my actual review of the product in use and I will show you, show the, demonstrate the product working. And here is the connector here. plugs into the bottom of the connector and this goes to your earlobe. So I will be cutting back in with everything connected and and running. Um, here's my iPhone 4. Um, just to quickly show you, this is the iTunes Store. I did a search. I typed in Inner Balance and here you have Heart Math Incorporated Inner Balance. It has four out of five stars. It is free. And of course, here's um, the cable unwound. This is the uh, sensor that you will put on your earlobe. And this little plug, kind of like an earphone jack, plugs into the bottom of this which will go directly into the bottom of my iPhone 4. And when I want to use it on my iPhone 5, I'll just plug it into my lightning adapter. But my kids won't accommodate this plug, so I'll be using it using this adapter. So, 
and I'll be testing it on that as well. And I might or might not do a secondary video actually showing it running on my iPhone 5. But anyway, let's continue on. Next you will see the app installed and the device running and my impressions of the product. Hey folks, now here's your inner balance software installed and it's connected to my iPhone 4. I have tested it out. Um, launch the program. Uh, when you do plug it in for the first time, it will ask if you want to allow the sensor to work with the device. You choose allow. This is a quick overview of the sessions and training coach and whatnot. And you can disable that on launch if you don't want to see that. I'm going to start training. Uh, now, when you launch the uh, program for the first time, you see the session, review, journal, um, heart math. Um, to start a, uh, the point of this program basically is to help you um, focus yourself um, through breathing techniques. And it uses your heart rate to help pace your breathing, to help achieve focus, reduce stress and by reducing stress you're re improving your overall health and vitality that's the whole basic idea of the program um, to so you and you can't actually see your heart rate until you start a session um, and the journal will shows you a log of past sessions that you've done and review to review data so let me first start a quick session here by see you single tap the screen to start a session, double tap to stop one, press and hold to bring up the help menus. So let me start a session here. Now I select the my beginning mood which is related to the journal entry. Or I could choose not now, but let's say this is my mood, which is calm. Done. And now this is an indicator of the breathing. I should be exhaling and I should be inhaling now. Now by the way this has four different levels. Each level makes it harder to follow. You know it's more strict as far as really being strict about you pacing your breath. Um, so I have the next screen here. You have different screens here. So let me first show you, this is the main screen. When I, see, when I press and hold here, these are the different help menus. And of course, when I tap on the question mark, it shows what that means. That's the elapsed time, my coherence distribution, coherence being how well I'm pacing my breathing and how level my uh, heart rate is. Now, that's my heart rate the sound meter, etc. Let me choose done. The next screen is just another graph with a different representation for the breathing rather than like the puffy star. This one shows an inspirational photo is what they call it. And you can go to your settings and choose any photo that you want. And this means exhale and right means inhale. And again, that's the graph of my heart rate. Um, this graph of page over here it shows my coherence level, how long I'm in any specific one, my achievement level for the session. Uh, this is my current heart rate uh, coherence over time. This is my heart rate, which is right now about 90 bouncing up and down. So you have heart rate is separate than the coherence. You could have good coherence yet 120 beats a minute. The coherence is really ba basically all about your heart rate here. You see it's green now which is what you want it to be and my heart rate's nice and even oh, that had a little spike there. So you want it to be in the green you want to train your breath and breathing so that way you're focused and thinking happy, pleasant thoughts. And uh, they encourage you uh, as 
for practice to do this um, a few times a day, you know, trying to achieve 300 points a day. And, and they say that if you're at the point where you're getting in the 90 percentile range, of green activity for that given session then they recommend that you increase the difficulty level so that way you have to be even more focused when you do this I'm not doing well, well right now because I'm uh, speaking rather than focusing on my breathing now if I double tap the screen that will end the session and I can choose my ending mood I can choose done Here's my session review. I, and this is a percentage of time you spent in each level of focus. So 26%, 32%, 40%, 2% high. I've actually done 100% on a previous attempt. Um, here's the length of it and the achievement points per this session. And um, you can also, uh, also uh, write in the journal. Like This is the journal entry for the session I just did. This shows the beginning time, this shows the end time. So if I want, I could go here and, and modify the entry. So let's say if I want to talk about what's on my mind at the time for my own reference, or if I want to change the mood indicator for what it, from what it was, um, you can do that. If I choose review here, this will review previous sessions that I've done. So like here's the very first one I tried. When I opened the app, I had 91%. Uh, of the time I was high, which is what you want it to be ideally. 7% medium, 2% low. You can go back. And here's another one when I was just playing around with it. The one I just did just now. Um, under here, under um, health math, heart math, uh, this gives you an overview of the program. Um, about creating a daily routine and whatnot. Obtain 300 achievement points per day. Increase your challenge level when you achieve 80 to 90 percent. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's a basic overview. And here are the settings menu. But there's not a whole lot to it. You can change the volume level, you know, your difficulty level, the soundtrack, challenge level. The breathe pacer, you can increase the rate it does it or reduce it. And this is that inspirational image. So if you have your own image, you can select one. And I uh, can change the uh, some other options like the coach, the mini heart rate. So you can change a few things about the look and the feel of it. And also, when you're done with a session, you can share the results of your session to, like, Twitter or Facebook or whatever. Um, anyway, it's an, overall, it's a nice um, program. Um, again, you can't see your actual heart rate in this until you start a session. So you would have to start a session by single tapping here. Let me choose that now. And, uh, and then scrolling to the end to see your, if you just want to see your heart rate and you're not really caring about the uh, uh, the breathing. So, um, here we go. 89, 90, it's the pulse. Here we go. That's my current heart rate. Right screen, double tap to stop. Right now. And that's it, there you have it. Um, I did test this on my iPhone 5. The program looks identical uh, in every way. Uh, it's just stretched out to fit the screen, otherwise the app itself looks the same. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Um, please like and subscribe.